In this video, I'm going to talk about enabling Launch's debug mode to show verbose debug logging output in the JavaScript console, and also how you can write your own custom logs that are only visible in debug mode using the satellite.logger method. Let's get started. I have Launch running on my site with a few rules that will execute as soon as the page loads. One is a simple console log, and the other loads Google's GTAG library. I am also loading the Adobe Analytics and Experience Cloud ID service extensions because most real-world websites will also load those. I can see in my code and in the network requests that I'm loading Launch, but I don't have a whole lot of insight into what exactly it's doing. I can change that by enabling Launch's debug mode with either the Launch Switch Chrome extension or by setting the satellite.setDebug method to true. Once I have enabled debug mode, I can refresh the page to see the various logs from the launch library. The logs from the launch library, indicated by the little rocket icon, show what extensions launch is loading and what they are doing, what rules launch executed, and many other useful pieces of information. A side note, in complex properties with lots of rules and extensions, the debug output can quickly get out of control. This is one of many good reasons to implement a well-defined naming convention for your rules so you can easily find or filter them. If I search for the word fired in the console, I can see the rules that launch fired when the page loaded. In this case, it's the two rules that I have set up. I typically use debug mode to check that rules are firing when and where they're supposed to. I also use debug mode to write custom logs to myself when working on rules that require custom data be available or that have other complex logic. Let's take a look at how to write custom logs that are only visible in launch debug mode. In my console log hello world rule, I have a regular JavaScript console log that will show up when the page loads, regardless if debug mode is enabled or not. Let's change this to only show up when debug mode is active. To do this, I can use the satellite.logger.log method instead of console.log. If I refresh the page with debug mode disabled, I should no longer see hello from launch. But when I enable debug mode, I should see it as a custom log. And there it is. I can tell I'm using the satellite logger by the appearance of the rocket icon next to my custom logs. Satellite is how launch refers to itself in the console. And the logger actually has four different logging methods, log, info, warn, and error. I have a rule to set up to show each one individually, so let's check them out in the console. As you can see, log and info do the same thing. Warning raises a warning, and error raises an error. I can also filter these log levels in the console. I usually stick with regular logs unless I'm writing complex custom code where I want to specifically call out errors or when I'm wrapping code in a try catch. In my rule, I have an expression that will produce an error wrapped in a try catch. Now, the error caused by this non essential code will only be visible in debug mode, and since I caught it, it will not interrupt anything else on the page. I can see that A is not defined. And when I disable debug mode, the error will no longer be present. And when I enable debug mode, the error reappears. A final note about launch debug mode is that it also logs deprecation notices using satellite.warn for any methods that are not applicable to launch but may be left over from DTM code. 
For example, if I were to use satellite.notify, which was DTM's catch-all logging method, I would get a notice that this method has been deprecated. This is simply a satellite.logger.warn method used within the launch library. Now you should be able to use satellite.logger to write your own custom logs to catch errors and log messages to yourself using the launch UI.